Hey there Dev Squad Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. Within today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can transform our level for our FPS game. As of right now, what we've been working on throughout the series is a game where we're going to be able to run, we're going to be able to shoot, we've got some enemies and all of that good stuff. In terms of the actual level that the player is going to be playing in, it looks very basic and it doesn't really make you feel like it's a polished game. So what we're going to be doing over the next two videos is essentially creating a simple little level which is going to look quite nice and is going to fit in with the style of everything else that we've got going on. Now if you want to learn fully about how you can create levels inside of Unreal Engine, I definitely advise you go ahead and check out my level design series available for free on my channel. Now what we're going to be doing is simply taking some assets from the asset store on the marketplace and then we're going to be sculpting sculpting a landscape, adjusting the lighting and doing a few little bits like that. So having said that, what we're going to do is first things first, we're going to go into the Epic Games launcher and we're going to go to the marketplace and we're just going to be adding in some open world assets that we can use for this level. So what I'm going to do is in the top right hand corner, I'm going to search for open world and it's this demo collection that I'm after. Inside of here, we've got some trees, we've got some grass, some rocks, and we're gonna be using this to form the basis of our level. So we're going to go ahead and get that, and then we are going to add it to our project that we're using. And once it's done that, we are going to be able to use these inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now with this, this is quite a big project, the open world demo collection that is, so it may take a little while before you can actually use it, inside of your game. So what I'm going to do is open up the launcher here inside of Unreal Engine and while it's doing that we are going to proceed to creating the new level, adjusting the landscape and maybe doing just a little bit of lighting. So go to file, new level and we are going to be using the default template. Now, the first thing that we wanna do inside of here is just go ahead and press play to make sure that the rest of our functionality is working. We can still walk around, run around, we can shoot, jump, and all of that good stuff. Once we know that's good to go, what we're gonna do is simply delete this little platform here, and then we are going to go to our landscape tab and we are going to be creating a brand new landscape. We're just gonna be using all of the default settings for now. So once we've actually hit create and we've got this landscape in our world, what we wanna do once again is just make sure that this is going to be set up and it's going to work well with our level. Now notice there, your player actually spawned beneath this landscape. So we're gonna take our player start that we've got in our scene here and we're simply going to drag it up, hit play, and you should now be able to move around on our landscape. Now, in terms of this level that we're gonna be creating for the FPS game, this is entirely up to you as to how you sculpt it and how it's going to look. What I'm going to be doing for now is simply doing a little bit of basic sculpting whereby you are in this outdoors sort of mountainous area with a forest. So what I'm actually going to be doing is essentially just drawing with my sculpt tool a big circle like this. And then once it gets round here, we're just sort of gonna have it following around. So it looks almost a little bit like a six. So it's going to look like that. And if I go ahead and press play, I'm going to be able to jump inside of this circle. And the reason why I've done it with this circular design in mind is just to essentially trap the player so he doesn't go outside of that area. Now, if you want to learn everything you need to know about sculpting for this tool, for the landscape tool, then if you check out my level design series, you're going to be able to learn all about this. But for now, in terms of sculpting, if you just go into this sculpting mode, use the sculpt tool here and then just left click you can essentially just draw on with that sculpting tool and there is a lot that you can do with this now what I'm also going to be doing over here is I'm actually going to be eroding into the ground to essentially form a lake so what I'm going to do instead of using the sculpt tool I'm going to use the erosion tool then I am going to turn down my brush size to form this lake and I'm just going to be putting it in just like that. So I'm going to be drawing in that hole in the ground for the lake. And if I go ahead and press play, 
I can see this little lake that we've got here. It's not particularly too big, but it's going to do for the purposes that we need it for. But the next thing that I'm going to move on to now is actually creating the material for this landscape that we've just made for our game. So what we're going to do is inside of our content browser, we're going to create a new material and we're going to give it the name landscape underscore matte. And then inside of here, what we're going to be doing is using the layer blend landscape layer blend and we're going to be hooking this up into our base color and then with this we are going to add two elements we're going to have grass and we are going to have mud so if we go ahead and do this so add the element layer name for zero is going to be grass and then layer one is going to be our mud and our preview weights we are going to set these to 0.5 for both of these now what we need to do inside of here is actually add in some textures for grass and mud. So having said that, we're going to go to our starter content, we're going to go to our materials, or rather we are going to go to our textures and we're just going to simply add these in here. And we've got quite a big selection by default. So we've got T underscore ground underscore grass. So if we go ahead and select that in the content browser, and then bring it in here, we can put this into our layer grass. And then if we go ahead and get our ground gravel, we are then going to put that into our mud. And then we're simply just going to hit apply and we're going to go from there. Now, in terms of actually assigning that to the landscape, that's actually quite easy. All you need to do is essentially go to your place mode, select your landscape, and then in the details panel, all you need to do is set your landscape material to landscape underscore mat. And then once you've done this, what it's going to do is essentially make it all black and it's going to look a little bit like this. Now that is just something that it's going to do while it is essentially just compiling these shaders, but we do have to do a couple of other things as well. So what we're going to do is go back to our landscape material. So open up your landscape mat and then inside of here, all we're going to do is go to this layer blend node and then inside of this, we're just going to check our preview weights. If these are all good, we can actually now start putting these materials onto our landscape using painting. So go to our landscape mode, go to paint, and then create a weight blended layer normal for the grass. Any location will do. And then what you're going to notice our whole terrain is then going to turn green because it's using this grass. Do the same thing for our mud, weight blended, normal, any location and you're good. Now, if I was to go ahead and select my mud layer, and then just start painting this on. You can see I can then fill our little lake here with mud, just like this. Now what you can do is adjust the brush size and the tool strength to make this look really nice. But the main thing that I wanted to do with this mud is to essentially just draw in some pathways from the area where the player is going to start all the way around the lake and to a little finishing area as well. So I'm going to turn my brush size down for this and then I'm essentially just going to draw a little starting area there and then I am just going to draw some pathways in just like that. And if I get nice and close, you should be able to see this really well. What you want to do whenever you're doing your landscape like this, you want to check a reference to scale. So is that path big enough? Is it clear enough? If it's not, all you got to do is to simply go in there, turn in your brush strength up a little bit, and then just make it all a little bit wider, just like that. Now, there is a lot more that you can do in terms of the material work to make it more realistic, such as adjusting the specularity, which is essentially how shiny it is. So that's something that I'm going to do right now. But like I said, once again, if you want to do a lot more with your level, it's not something I can teach you in just one or two videos. But what you can do, however, is you can go ahead and check out the various series I've got for materials, for landscapes, for level design and so on.
Now what I have just done here is I've put a zero into our specularity so that our terrain is no longer going to be shiny. And if I jump into the scene now, once that change has been made, you are going to see it's going to look a lot better. Now, I am pretty happy with where it is at for now. In the next video, we're going to be working on foliage, post-processing and lighting. But for now, we've got a really solid start. Keep going through here and painting in your different materials, work on sculpting your landscape and all of that good stuff. What I'm also going to say is before I end off this video and once you've finished your sculpting, make sure that you build your lighting as well and it's going to get rid of any of these lighting errors that you're going to have. But that is everything for today. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.